You see him crush on the show every single week. Part of the DraftKings Sportsbook family, Julian Edlow, back in the building. Julian, happy NBA playoffs, sir. Yeah, happy NBA playoffs. Glad to uh, glad to have it here, especially with this new little playing round appetizer. Yeah, let's start real quick with the talk of the town. The Lakers fire Frank Vogel. Did he deserve to be fired? And is he the big part of the disappointment in the Lakers season? Uh, no, this wasn't Frank Vogel's fault. Uh, he's a good coach. This was the players' fault. Um partially on how they played and partially on the injuries. LeBron was hurt some, Anthony Davis was hurt some, and uh, really just the Russell Westbrook trade was an awful fit. You traded away three key rotation pieces and gave away a chance to maybe just add a guy like Buddy Heald to what you already had and gave away three, four rotation guys for Russell Westbrook and it crashed and burned. Um, so I think that would have happened regardless of who the coach was. I think the Lakers could win in the future with Frank Vogel. I think the Lakers could win in the future with another coach. So maybe it's just time for a change in scenery, which is fine. But is Frank Vogel to, to blame? No. Let's switch to this Mavs Jazz series. Luca has a calf injury. Want to get your thoughts on how the series price has moved at DraftKings? And then where's your confidence with the Mavs going into the series? It's all about Luca. Uh, this movement is insane. Um, you know, the Mavericks were three-point favorites in game one. They're now four-and-a-half-point underdogs. There are not many players in the NBA at any time that can move a spread seven-and-a-half points. And Doncic hasn't even been ruled out yet. We just know that he's hurt, and he has a whole week to get better uh, without games. So it's a really interesting situation. Um, the series was a near pick -em. Jazz slight favorites. Now you can get over plus 200 on DraftKings Sportsbook on the Mavericks. For me... It's too steep at this point if, if Luka's ruled out to bet Utah because it's moved so much. But if Doncic is ruled in for game one, which I think if you made me guess, I would say Luka's going to play. Give me the Mavericks plus four and a half. Give me the Mavericks plus 210 for the series, and we'll figure it out later. I love to hear that. All right, of these these few teams playing in the play-in games tonight and tomorrow, any of them you're confident could make a run, with obviously Brooklyn being the front of all of those teams? Yeah, I mean, Brooklyn's obvious. Uh, you know, they're third in the odds to, to win it. So they have to be obvious. They're minus 475, I think, as as we're, as we're talking on, on the money line to beat Cleveland and get that seven seed. So, I mean, what the odds tell me is that Brooklyn is going to be, assuming they win, a favorite in a series over Boston. Uh, and can Brooklyn make a run? Sure. Uh, but will I be taking the Celtics at plus money for that series? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, they're a team there. I, I like the Clippers a lot against the Wolves, and if they don't win that game, I certainly think they're going to win on Friday. I think the Clippers are a team that, that they're not going to beat the Suns, but taking a lot of points. We're talking like eight, nine points with the Clippers who are starting to get healthy. They're a team that I, I kind of like there, and if they wound up winning and getting Memphis, winning their play-in game and getting Memphis, uh, you know, maybe like a series spread there on the Clippers getting some games. Looking at the top of the Eastern Conference, four teams separated by just a couple games. If you were to fire on futures for two teams to win the East, who do you like? Yeah, so personally, I have tickets on Miami plus 500 and uh, Boston a little higher uh, going back earlier in, in the season. Those are still the two teams I like the most, but the value has kind of gone there. They're both floating around plus 425 on DK Sportsbook. Um, tough path for the Celtics, too. They're probably going to have to go like Nets, Bucks, Heat to, to get there. Um, <clears throat> but those are the two teams that I, I really feel have the best chance to win. So I guess those are the two teams I would bet on. I will say we, we did record uh, my podcast, Unreasonable Odds, for DK today. We had James Alberino, who runs Spread Investor on. He said, take a flyer on, on Toronto plus 3,000. If you like them over Philly, which I kind of do, that second round against Miami is a lot closer than people think. If they get to the conference final against a Boston or a Milwaukee and you got them plus 3,000, you can do something with that ticket. Without question. All right, let's switch to the West. I know Suns are clearly the team to beat in the West. Any team you're comfortable with taking a futures? I know you're on that Clippers ticket. Anyone else, though, you're comfortable with trying to take down Phoenix? 
Yeah, so the Clippers are are the long shot. I'm hoping they can beat the Timberwolves so they get the 2-7 matchup. So if they do actually make a run, they could meet a team like the Suns later down the line um, and potentially get Kawhi Leonard back, which would be great if you have a Clippers ticket in pocket. Um, otherwise, I really only think it's Golden State that can challenge Phoenix. And I, I have some Phoenix plus 120, really short number. Um, but Golden State, if they get Curry back and he looks good and Klay Thompson's been looking better, they're the only team that I think can put it all together and uh, potentially be there in a Western Conference final and uh, really give Phoenix a chance. Where do you think this Brooklyn Nets ceiling is? Plus 350 to win the East, plus 600 to win the title. Worth firing on, or do you think those are just low-hanging fruit for futures and teams that really are going to probably best the Nets for a lot of defensive reasons on the Brooklyn side? <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Nets are a horrible bet. At their number, they're a horrible bet. They got to win a play in game or two if they get shocked by Cleveland. And if they get shocked by Cleveland, now they're really in trouble and the pressure's on them. Then they got to come in, they got to beat Boston, Milwaukee, Miami, essentially. It would likely be the path. Um, can they win it? Uh, they can win the East. Yeah, they're talented enough to win the East. Is the number right? No, it needs to be much steeper for the Nets. The market still hasn't adjusted. To the fact that they can't play any defense and that outside of Kyrie and KD, they don't have many good players on, on the floor. And you've shared a few of your futures you have before the playoffs start. Anything you haven't mentioned that you're also looking at, whether it's a series or someone going all the way? Yeah, so I'm not adding anything on, on conferences or uh, to win it all, but I love some series bets on, on DK Sportsbook and I'll have articles up this week on it. Um, I I came in really wanting to fade uh, Denver. Jokic is fantastic. Behind Jokic, Denver has nothing. Um, and I don't care if Steph Curry's healthy to start the series or comes along the way. Um, they're about minus 220 to win the series on DK Sportsbook. But this is where you lay some games and take a series price. They were even money um, and I think moved to minus 105 if you lay a game and a half. So essentially, Golden State Warriors minus one and a half games in the series. You need them to win in four, five, or six. We can't have a game seven. But I really think they're going to do that. Denver's really been limping in. And like I said, behind Jokic, they just don't have it. Um, last two times, uh, Denver won the season series, but the Warriors weren't healthy. The last time these two teams played, Golden State did win by 11 in Denver. So I like Golden State there a lot. And then this one really moved. The Bucks minus two and a half games against the Bulls opened even money on DK Sportsbook meaning they win it in four or five games. It has moved to minus 195. So we kind of missed the boat a little, but if you want to lay some juice on that or take some plus money on bucks to sweep and bucks in five and split the difference, um, I really don't see Chicago doing much.